How you doing everybody? It's Mike the Smoking Monkey and we're back at you with another video today guys and I'm kind of happy to say I'm done testing out this Givy windshield here it's been about two weeks uh, two and a half weeks and I've got some good riding in I've got a lot of a uh, lot to say but I've been on some long rides some short rides I even got caught in the rain a few times with it and if you guys have noticed during my last few videos while I'm riding around the actual audio hasn't been the best when I'm at speed and that's because this thing directs all the wind right at my neck and it kind of travels inside my helmet hits my microphone and it distorts the audio a little bit so that's not the biggest deal whatever that it's a kind of a shitty part of it but the biggest thing is it's actually putting all the wind pressure on my chest and on my neck uh, sorry on my neck and on my head so right from my collarbone up now I'm 6'1 I don't know how tall most of you guys are but for somebody around my height it's not the most effective windshield but one other thing that I will say before I find a spot to give you guys my list is it reverberates a lot of sound back at you there's <laughs> my turn signal still on it reverberates a lot of sound back at you it, it actually gives you more feedback than I expected and it's not nice it's not a nice sound it's not like you can hear the engine or anything it's more of like a rattling and it's not the actual windscreen rattling it's more of just you're hearing something coming off of the the bike maybe it's a reverberation from the intake or from the uh, exhaust but it doesn't sound great it, it sounds kind of like radley like that's the best way to put it but without further ado I'm gonna go find a nice spot for you guys I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna give you guys my list Alright guys, so here we are and it's time to discuss whether or not you guys should spend your money on the Givi or GV windscreen for the 2017 to current or third gen SV650. Now, the first thing that I'm going to say is something you guys have already heard me say and it directs the wind straight at my neck and at my head, which is kind of like straining and it's just not fun it helps when it's kind of all over your body and it's even that way it's not a one specific pressure area having all the wind directed off the top here and hitting you right in the top of the neck to the top of your head it really makes it hard for when you're checking your blind spots for when you're going and just general riding especially if you're doing anything long and it's not comfortable which leads me to my next point it actually stays in place really well these brackets that they provide are very well built they're powder coated nice they look great and they don't rattle nothing shakes nothing rattles it stays in place very well the only thing is it reverberates sound from behind you I don't know if it's from the intake that's located somewhere underneath the tank here or if it's actually just exhaust noise bouncing off of the road and coming back off of the windscreen but it doesn't sound great and it sounds kind of like a rattle I really don't like it and it's one of the downsides of actually having this thing is you constantly hear it now before I move to the next point back to the first thing I said how it directs the wind right at my neck and head if you're a shorter rider it might be perfect for you if you're somebody that's not 6'1 maybe you're in the five foot range sure this might be the one for you but anybody taller I'm letting you know right now you're gonna have a lot of wind pressure on your helmet my fourth point is it actually is great quality it stays in place like I said it's constructed well 
The only thing is when I was putting it in, I did crack it in two different spots. You can't see it on the camera. It's actually quite hard to see it from this side. But when you're riding and the sun hits it, you can see the two little cracks right around here. And it is what it is. Just be careful if you guys do purchase one. Don't screw it on too tight. Another plus is it has great visibility. So if you're standing on this side, it's tinted so that you can actually see better from the inside. So you can actually see really well through it. Uh, if you need to see the road or you need to see a car or whatever it is that you need to see, it's not going to hinder you. It's not going to get in your way. Even uh, I've had myself tucking down on the tank, laying down on the tank, whatever you want to call it. And it was great. I could see through it perfectly. It wasn't too dark. It wasn't actually glary or anything like that. It was very clear and I'll give them a thumbs up on that. It's a great quality plastic. So the last thing I'm gonna say is personally the styling is also not for me. The functionality if it worked better I could live with it. I think it looks alright. I think it looks pretty decent. But personally it doesn't do a great job for myself. I would give it maybe a 2 out of 5 stars and it's not actually that sporty. Like it, it looks good, I will admit I do like the look, but I prefer the meter visor a lot more. And I've got another plan to add another mod to this that might help you guys get over the fact that the meter visor is white. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the thing I'm going to put on the meter visor, I'm talking about another mod, another part that I'm going to add to the bike. I'm not going to say what it is yet, but I will be adding something else that will complement the meter visor and hopefully you guys will uh, will like the way it looks. So to sum it up, I'm going to get back on the bike for you guys, we'll go for a ride and honestly it's not a bad piece of uh, equipment here. If you guys want to get one, I would recommend it for shorter riders, but anybody taller, it's not really going to be that effective. So let's get back on the road, let's go, I'll give you guys my summary and a few extra things that I haven't mentioned. So what I will mention to you guys is it does not help with glare whatsoever. If you're riding around and the sun is out, it's going to be a bad glare on the, wind, on the uh, instrument cluster or gauge or whatever you want to call it there. But you get a really bad glare no matter where you're at even if the sun isn't directly hitting it it's kind of annoying but the other thing that i'm going to mention is it was easy to install i don't know how easy it's going to be to take off now i'm going to head back right now and i'm going to go throw the meter visor back on and we'll see exactly how hard it is to put back on uh, sorry to take off because it was a breeze to slap on there but the way that these are angled these brackets down here I'm not sure if I'm going to have to remove those four bolts to take the windshield off the bracket and then remove the brackets. Which is kind of stupid and annoying because you've got rubber washers and you've got lock nuts. So it's not really made to be taken off of the bracket. Meaning if I take it off the bracket I'm going to have to go get new hardware. Or at least new lock nuts. And most likely new washers but I'm not sure. So. That might be a design flaw, I don't know. Maybe they're not thinking people are gonna be taking the windshield off once they put it on, but I know that most people like to change things up. They like to put things on and take things off and say you're going on a long ride, you want the windshield and then you wanna just take it back off because you like the way it looks without it. If it's hard to take on and off, that's kind of stupid. So let's go right now. I'm gonna head back to my place and we'll try to take this thing off. Okay, so. Let's see if I can simply just take these brackets out and be able to slide the entire thing out without removing the windshield from the bracket. So I got the first bolt out and yes, it is flexible enough to slip out. I'm going to put in the top fork bolt before I remove the other one just so that everything stays nice and tight. And we don't have any kind of issues with lining up the forks. The second one's coming out really easy. It 
and there you have it it all comes out very easy actually so nice and since you guys stay tuned this long I'm gonna show you what I changed up on the meter visor and there you have it guys I know it's not a big change but a lot of you guys have told me I should put my logo on there so I had a bunch of custom made vinyl stickers made and there you go that's what they look like each one of these is actually an individual piece and these are made to last outdoors for seven years and they are available on my Instagram so if anybody wants one please contact me on there they're ten dollars a piece free shipping worldwide and I have two sizes the eight inch and I have a six inch as well so that's it for today guys thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe so I can catch you guys on the next video tons more videos coming your way and the tuck and roll seat is here uh, I've got it somewhere so I'm gonna announce the winners of the giveaway from last week for the stickers and do the unboxing of the seat probably tomorrow so watch out for that video guys once again thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe leave me a like and a comment until next time guys ride safe out there